it was possibly 18 months ago now when I first heard of floating solar. Um, when I first heard of it, I, I laughed. I always thought electricity and water don't mix, so how could this be? And uh, then I saw the system and I, I saw some pictures in Japan and started researching the product more and realizing actually it's a very logical use of dead space. Um, with our farms in East Anglia, we've got a lot of irrigation pumps, we've got a lot of crops to water. The irrigation pumps are hungry, there's uh, a high usage of electricity on site. Um, floating solar is a very, very good marriage between the peak generation of solar and the, uh, the peak usage of the pump. So it's a logical uh, step. Floating the solar rather than using a ground mounted system obviously means you're not using valuable crop growing uh, land. Um, the system's quite logical in the way it goes together. It's, it's not a complex system to put together at all. With a few people, uh, a production line is made and you build it on the shore, make rows and then just push it in. It's very simple. Once I looked into the fact that the water, the cooling effect of the water, also helps increase the yield, I could then start to see no problems, I could only see potential. And once you approach the farming community and you mention it to them, they very quickly can see that it's, it's a very, very good product for them.